G'day guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. So, what I want to do today is... I actually spoke about this in the last Westland video, so it's been nearly a fortnight in between videos, but wanted to try out a new game and things like that, so um, that was the reasoning behind that. But, today, I wanted to do a rerun re of the Spirit Cave. And I mentioned this in the, in the previous video that I was thinking about doing a speed run. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I've done is I've got two um, s and Model 2s, one Lamar and a couple of Remingtons, and I've got some pretty decent heels. So we're going to see how we go with this one here. And what I want to try to aim to do in a timely manner is go through all four caves and we'll see how we go. So let's get started. And I thought about doing this and I figured, you know what, I've got some pretty decent weaponry here. My clothing I think I'm going to be fine with, even though that they're probably about a third of the way um, in durability left to go. I think I should be right and pretty much that any enemy that's going to sort of come near me, yeah, they're just going to get absolutely iced here. So I want to see how quickly I can actually go through this. Now. Disclaimer, I'm not going to loot everything in this um, in this spirit cave or, or any of the other ones. I'm only going to touch um, boss loot, okay? And, oh, I thought I could one-shot these things, but, oh well. And I just want to see how far these um, S and W Model 2s will actually take me. So we'll see how well this actually performs. And that's probably the other reason why. I just wanted to see what type of legs that these things have. And is it worth using it if you want to do like a quick little speed run here or there? But I would imagine not everyone would be wanting to use a, a weapon such as the SMW Model 2, especially right now when we don't have a way to actually craft them ourselves and we can only sort of um, repair them once we get to the um, uh, to the fella in town. So, yeah, that's pretty much where that is at. But as you can see, absolutely annihilated this fella here I'm just gonna open up the main uh, loot so the bigger chests that's all I'm gonna focus on so I don't want to sort of um, do, uh, you know get consumed in opening up uh, things that I shouldn't have to and you know obviously not on the most important side so I'm just gonna grab what I can just want to grab this chest too and then we're gonna quickly move on and get to it and like I said I'm really interested to know how long um, that these weapons will last for. It's, it, this was pretty much, I don't know, I'd, I'd say about 95% full. The other one that I've got is fully loaded, ready to go, 100% health. So that should not be an issue. Um, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and eat and drink and we should be good now. So let's continue on. And I've got my timer as well, so I'm just sussing out how long it's sort of taking to sort of get through um, each zone and what I'm hoping for is I can sort of just squeeze it in one video I really don't want to make a second one for it, but um, I figured you know what why not I've got these really um, These really cool weapons and right now I'm just flexing them at this moment. So yeah, as you could imagine, you know Not I, like I said not a lot of people would have these weapons and that's all well and good But I figured you know a decent um, a decent video some pretty cool content why not and at least you guys can enjoy them I can always get them repaired through the repair in town anyway so that really doesn't bother me I've got enough um, fried meat to to allow me to do that so which is kind of neat but this is all on standard mode so you know even though that we were doing this and this seems to be pretty um, pretty easy I'm sort of breezing through this as we speak um, it doesn't sort of excuse the fact that, you know, let's say if we do hard mode, how worse or how bad would that be in comparison to, you know, this. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a hard mode version of this as well. But I figured, you know what, let's set the bar at um, the standard mode and we'll just continue on. So like I said, you, I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to keep running through, I'll skip all over the, um, all the basic stuff, like I said, I don't feel like that's really of any sort of importance. Even that there, I don't think that's really important there. So, I want to sort of try and kill as many enemies as possible, if not all. 
and I was really disappointed that I can't one-shot these things, so I'm going to have to sort of spec into uh, my points uh, system here into attack power so I can um, at least one-shot them, because that's obviously going to crank out the mileage as well, so that'll be something that I'll have to look into. And let's see, what do we have in this one? All the fancy sm uh, schmancy ones, all these um, type of chests, I'll probably just sort of quickly open up um, because they have things like this and some pretty okay uh, loot. Like I said, not wasting time with this and I just want to sort of crank it out. I'll leave that one. And we should be close to the boss room. And at least the acres are going down easy, which is always a good thing. It's just the ghost I've got a two shot, so I'm hoping when I get another level up, I'll spec into um, a spec a point into the um, into the power attribute. So I should be fine with that. Yeah, because they're carrying a little bit of uh, defensing buff here, and that's annoying because you're gonna have to two shot them, and you're just wasting more durability on your um, on your weapon here. So this guy here, I'm just gonna sort of. Do what I can. Six, seven, I'm just counting. Eight, nine, and about ten shots. So it took me roughly about ten shots to take him down. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, any decent loot though? I'll just quickly grab what's here. Um, I'll probably leave the one to the right there. I'll just get this one and the, uh, and the main one. And then we'll head off. So nearly seven minutes into the video for those that, that might be playing at home potentially. Uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of a, an idea. I think I spent about a minute in, on the intro before we jumped into it. So yeah, a bit over six minutes. Sort of made my way across without a problem. I'll leave them there. I'll, I'll grab them later on. And what I could do is I'll just make like a neat little drop uh, chest over here at the um, in the main area so let's um, just drop on all these on the acre very good get rid of that get rid of that and you know what I think I might keep that and drop that there all right let's go so wave two let's have at it It's taken a little longer to load these days. I actually noticed um, today when I when I logged in the game, it took about a minute or so before I left um, my home base to come over here. That um, it was getting a bit of lag. Like it was stuttering everything. So I'm not too sure what's what's going on. I don't know if it's just me. I'm not too sure if anyone else is experiencing any any issues like this um, so interested to know um, how you guys are going with all that too if if it's a problem of course if not it could be just me and I'm, you know you know I might be in line for like, potentially upgrading my phone or who knows uh, there's no one up here but these guys just quickly deal with this fella there we go Waltz our way through, open up this, open up this, there we go, okay, and cool, so far so good, I've in been inflicted very little damage uh, to my player here, which is awesome, and I can see the durability factor on this is starting to wind itself down as well, so what I might do, considering, whoop, I have not lost much, whoop, I'll just switch over to that, but I'll switch over to the Lemart, and just use this fella here to two shot as well, which you probably be looking at doing for the most part. I was sort of kind of hoping initially that I can just one shot him any enemy, you 
know, obviously um, excluding the the, uh, the mini bosses and the actual boss itself for each uh, respected cave. But um, yeah, that's where I quickly discovered that I have to sort of spec into into a few things before that can happen. So it is what it is. But you know, not to worry about that. If I really wanted to be clinical with this. I probably wouldn't be going through every single um, every single area of each spirit cave, but I figured why not? Because I just wanted to see how quickly I can sort of clear the whole lot without leaving any enemy um, floating about. So that's my thought process with it. So let me know if you have actually done something like this yourselves, or you know if you made your own challenge against anyone to you know quickly run and rush the, um, uh, the spirit cave because I'd be interested to know just to see how you guys sort of got on with that and yeah I, you know if it was um, successful or it wasn't successful or did you get you know completely um, outdone by, by someone else that um, that did the time quicker than you yeah I'd be interested to know right, let's just get this piazza out of the way Switch to that, and any decent lootage over here, I think it's just this fella here, so let's go ahead and open up him. So, nearly coming up to the 12th minute mark on this as well, so I don't think I'm doing too badly with this so far, but again, you guys be the judge, you guys be the critics, and let me know in the comments. And I figured this is just, like I said, it's just something fun, something different, you know, it's not like a purposely, um, I don't know if we can go down this way, we can't pass, I don't think, um, you know, it's just a, a, just a fun one, and I feel like I haven't done a fun video for, for a little while now, you know, yes, I'm burning resources and things like that, but it, that doesn't bother me, and I'm, I'm happy enough to do this because I enjoy it, and I want to make sure you guys enjoy my content as well at the same time so yeah so as we're sort of racing along I think we're pretty much over the halfway mark in this zone so not doing too too badly and let's race over here target you to you, Piazza, but you didn't last long, buddy. Alright, let's see what this chest has. And what do we get out of this? A few things. Okay, nothing much. Alright, let's move on. Let's keep on the hustle. Gotta keep this happening. Alright, so let's race out of here. I wish there was a buff for quicker running, that would be nice. If that was at all possible, I didn't actually get this, oh, I missed all of these guys. Hey fellas, sorry to, um, you know, come unannounced, but, oh, I even forgot this part. There we go, at least I've, um, I've covered my tracks here. Okay, down Mr. Ghost, you two, and right, jump through. Thank you very much. Nice, got a critical hit on that. Gotta love these criticals. If you can constantly get critical hits, then that'll make durability um, a non-issue. Alrighty, um, where's the main chest? Let's go, 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 go. Okay. Let me know guys, do you guys just attack the uh, the main chest like I'm doing at the moment or do you actually get absolutely everything? Um, yeah, again just a thought, that's just sort of um, come across the mind there. Do you loot absolutely everything? Is it worth your time? Do you guys don't bother with it these days or are you just grabbing the main loot and just getting the hell out of here and moving on to the next thing? Is yeah, I just figured that you know it can be done. It can be done. I reckon in a 20, 25, under 30 minute session. I reckon 
you could possibly get this done and do the whole wave and then you're out of here. That's what I think, but again, this is why I'm sort of trying to time myself here to see how fast I can actually do this. So there you go. Okay, acres. Okay. So you do get the critical sometime, but you don't get it all the time. So there's got to be some sort of percentage with this. Okay, boss fella. Hello, Wendigo. Just hit me once, but I've taken him out nice and easy. Perfect. All right, so got this chest. All right, come on, come on, open up. Okay, I'll grab that. I'll leave that, and let's grab what's in here. Surprisingly that this actually opens faster than the one next to it. That I don't understand, but Here's what it is Actually, I'll leave some of that in there And uh, let's move on to the next zone wave three. Oh, sorry um, Cave three not wave three cave three. There you go All right, so About 15 and a half minutes in and we're already on to the third one so honestly I think I'm on track to do this in about 25 minutes or just over 25 minutes um, again excuse the um, the intro because I'm not counting that more or less counting um, what I've done here so far all right where am I going let's go this way uh, our fella is thirsty that's okay so let's quickly get some heal into him and we should be ready to rock and roll here. Okay. Let's just keep dropping them, keep dropping them. Open. There we go. Oop. But I guess in a way that the way that I see this as well, if you're just um, relying on high power weapons, say something like this. Or if you've got the SW on hand, and obviously that we can't um, you know, craft it for now, it's more or less finding um, fish at this point in time because right now I've still got the quarter left on clothing durability, but all that I'm really using is just if I was using all of the SW, which I'm sort of am at the moment, is that you would just use up that and then swap over to another weapon and just get it repaired and then that way things like your clothing because you're, you're pretty much one shot in just about everything really and you obviously save a little bit on the resource side of things so I don't know I don't know there's always a cost to do something and you know it's obviously up to us to work out what the most feasible way of going upon it would be or the most efficient way to go upon it so you can get the maximum um, out of you know, a zone like this or you know for your uh, reward sake so yeah all these things sort of come into play how you sort of wanted to uh, you know categorize it how you sort of wanted to operate it it's all, all on you guys and of course on me as well at the same time I think if I go down this way, this sort of takes me around to the other entrance. So I still need to do my uh, due gil diligence and um, and make sure that I've touched every place of, or oh, sorry, every section of this place, so to speak. Um, alrighty. So let's go down this way, and I can't open up this because no, 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 no. Get yeah, locked. All right, cool, cool. All right, so let's belt our way through up here. Oop, come on. There we go. Okay. And let's go up this way. Oop. Okay, bakery boom. Bakery down. Down, down, fellas. 
Okay, relax, sit down, take a nap. Okay, Mr. Ghost. Okay, whoop, there's something in here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this fella here. And what do we get out of this? So we're getting a little bit of tier 4 resources as well, which is okay. I'm, I'm not... I'm okay with that, to be honest with you. Um, actually, I just grabbed that. I'm going to leave... Actually, I will use that. And I'll take that. There we go. That'll work. And let's switch over back to that. And let's race our way over to the next part. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know if this is the main boss area. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay. Let's take out these two fellas. Thank you very much. And I think I'm getting closer and closer to it. I think if I have to go down here as well and take out a few ghosts, there we go. And let's roll over here. Boom. Boom. All right. I think this um, this map here is taking a little bit longer, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay. Nothing there. I really should be looking properly on the mini map on all corners here so I don't have to sort of double back and waste a bit of time there. So there I can see that there is an enemy so we shall race over and um, deal with him as well. Boom and boom. And I think this takes us to the main section. If it opens up for me, very good. There we go. But, let's just deal with these ghosts, there we go, I can see him, okay, cool, alright, let's get down to business, oh, the other. so I expect him to get me at least maybe three times, only because he's one of the quickest ones here, um, alright, quick decision, quick decision, quick decision, uh, get rid of that, take that, and we move on, and let's take out this fella here, that was already open, and let's loot up, alright, so we're about, we're a bit over 22 minutes in, so I'm not going to make it to 25 minutes, unfortunately, but, um, so far, I think we're doing okay, I just want to open them up, and we're going to go all out on the last wave. Okay, take what I can. All right, let's get prepared for that one. Okay, let's do it. So I'm only gonna use S and W's for this one. So if I was able to one shot, I reckon I can probably do at least close to three quarters, so three caves, with one SW, because I'm doing, because I'm doing these guys mainly in two shots, especially the ghosts, and then you've got the bosses, which obviously take a little bit more of your durability away, I think that's where I feel that I can actually get it down to possibly three spirit caves for one of them at the very least, even, you know, even if I didn't have, um, uh, you know, all the attack and all that sort of stuff, I probably would be using a combination of the, uh, the, the Lamar and possibly the, um, uh, the SW as well, so, yeah. Alright, come on guys, boom, boom, okay. That's what I'm thinking. You could possibly even get away with, I reckon maybe one, uh, two Lamar, Maybe, oh, where am I going? <laughs> uh, one SW, quite easily. As long as you've got a supporting weapon for your SW, 
you guys will be fine. You might just use one and that, that'll be it. But for me, I think I'll be losing close to the, um, uh, well, this will be lost in durability soon enough anyway, so I think I will have to dip into the second one, which I didn't really want to do, but it's fine because it's a great weapon and I will definitely keep these for as long as possible. Especially when T5 decides to roll out, whenever that happens, um, definitely we can start crafting these things, but for now, you know, it's all about that repair, so you've got to be careful not to break these weapons, because otherwise you're not going to get them back again, so, yeah, just got to be careful with that, so as soon as I get to close to um, breakage on this thing, um, I'm out, I will... I will um, swap and just continue on with the other one. But so far, this thing is just a beast. Uh, it's very quick. I can smash through enemies like no tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything over here. Um, that's where I think I came in on. Yes, I did. Just yes, wasting a little bit of time on that, but you've got to be sure. Alrighty, so let's continue on. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Go. You guys. Go. Go. Spin. Boom. And. Boom. Okay. Nice. Okay. And let's run up over here. I think this sort of snakes its way back, I think. Or is this a dead end? No, it does. So you can just keep going, which is good. And yes, I'm conscious about the durability. It's nearly there. We'll see how long how long it's got left in it, and then we'll swap over and just push power through. Uh, take all. Let's get out of here. Okay, just a ghost. And we're on the race down this way. Oop. Okay. And looks like I'm sort of. Ooh, better swap. Ha! <laughs> I nearly got complacent there and I didn't realise. And, and I said, I was going. I, I'm watching it. And I was watching it and then I didn't. So, very, very close. Okay, cool. So that's where I came in on. Let's race around here. So 27 minutes in guys, actually not too bad, quite happy with that so far, I'm just not too sure on how far I've got left to go, that's my only concern here, all these ghosts, okay, I think I remember this section here, you can, you can go down this way, you can go down the main corridor that I left from, and yeah. I think that's the case. Okay, let's bust open here. I don't think there was any enemies. Oh, there was. Okay, it's just an acre. Alright, let's race down here. I don't know if this is where the main boss is, though. Getting further down. It's like a little bit of a rabbit hole here. Oop. Yes, of course I can pass. Oh, there is the main boss here. Hey! -hey. Hello? Boom. 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 And... Taken care of business. So that's it, that's the exit. Here's the main loot room. Pretty much... 28 and a half minutes guys, I mean obviously it's nearly 30 minutes on the ticker here, but um, again excluding the, oops, no, why did I do that, why did I do that, excluding the intro, that's what I was sort of trying to say, I'm playing so many other different games and they've got different um, buttons for everything, and I'm forever forgetting which 
where where everything's placed. I mean, I'm okay after a little while once I get going, but yeah, I always run into this little um, this little issue. But that's all good. So that's it, guys. Completely annihilated it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Um, as you can see, if I were to loot everything, the amount of time that would have taken, I would have probably only gotten through half of that with looting. So, speed run. How fast can you guys do it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, please like the video, share if you can, that'd be fantastic. Comment. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I'll catch you next time.